What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Miguel and you're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today I have an interesting video for you. I'm going to be going over some knives, as you saw on the title and thumbnail. I'm going to be going over some knives, the ones that I really enjoyed the most during this year. It's been my very first full year on YouTube since January and you know we're now in December so I've been able to go through a tons and tons of different knives, uh, different budget knives and you know more expensive expensive knives and things like that and I wanted to make two different videos this one's gonna be all about my favorite best budget knives under a hundred dollars or less and you could say budget but I mean you could get some really good knives for under that hundred dollar mark as a matter of fact so my goal is to go ahead and share with you in my personal opinion out of all the knives that I enjoyed I uh, got a chance to play around with right I actually highlight here in the channel and carry myself these are gonna be rock solid EDC knives that are gonna be great everyday carry options for you these knives are gonna be rock solid very recommendable super popular too there's gonna be unboxing videos and review videos for every single one of these knives link down below as well as affiliate links if you want to check any of these out check the price check details right check out those links if you end up picking up one of them that does help out the channel through those links at no extra cost to you that being said we're gonna dive right into it and again some of these knives are a little bit older these are knives that have been out for a long long time they're very popular some of these actually can came out this year so I'll, I'll walk you guys throughout but coming in at number 10 we have the wrap model one and you could say maybe the wrap model two we can bundle both of them in here you're familiar with these knives if you've been following the channel for any amount of time you know all about the model one and two from Ontario knife co and these are just rock solid EDC knives depending on which size you want if you're looking for a bigger more capable longer edge you want to go the model one route if you're looking for a little bit smaller perhaps lighter option you know looking for smaller factor carry you go the wrap model tool you definitely want to get the d2 version that'll be the one that i recommend these are in aus 8 because i got them as size comparison knives that's why you'll see them in every review video and such but i mean as daily edc knives these are super comfortable great ergonomics you know the functionality here is great super sharp i want to say even these aus 8 versions have retained a really good edge these are liner locks with um frn scales and honestly these are not going to break the bank at all i believe these are around 35 to 40 bucks on the d2 version so regardless of getting the you know larger model one or the smaller model two very popular knives for uh, camping and such yeah, very capable these are made in Taiwan and you have all kinds of reversible clip tip down tip up carry options very solid very popular these are my own knives that I have been carrying and using throughout the year here and there as primary as secondary and I just can't say enough great things about the wrap model one and two check out the review video for more details but we're gonna be moving on uh, here at a pretty good pace because there's quite a lot of knives to go through and coming in at number nine we have the bada bim bada boom and that is the Reich P 801 now this has been a solid edc of the channel this one takes me back to my very first few months i actually started carrying edc nights as of last year but i started doing youtube more serious this year and this is one of my first you know budget pickups this knife i believe comes in around 30 dollars or so 30 35 and you have stainless steel uh scales going on it is a frame lock and you have a 14c 28n steel with a drop point blade right there plenty of belly this thing has a flat grind plenty of slicing action going on you have that flipper deployment and you could also thumb deploy this guy as well nice blue accents going on there very deep pocket carry clip as well i mean this thing is really good and honestly not all that expensive at all had a blast really good value for the money here and it's not going to break the bank at all solid solid knife so again check out the review for more details i'll probably you know stop saying that about each of these knives but honestly if you want to dive in more about any of these knives you can you know just look them up in the channel i've pretty much reviewed every single one of these knives that you'll see here moving on to number eight and this one's going to be a very popular knife that honestly has made a name for itself there's a reason why it's so popular and that is the Civivi elementum right Civivi elementum is one of Civivi's most popular knives because i mean this knife here has a lot going for it it has a very vanilla design ergonomically i mean this knife just melts in your hand the handle is very nice and contour a great design there you have a drop point blade going on 
and it has a hollow grind so it makes for this very sexy attractive looking combination here there are multiple options for the Civivi Elementum this is the smaller size or the OG Elementum then came a bigger brother a longer size button lock only Elementum and the only way to activate this guy uh, I mean deploy and close was that button there's now a newer version of the Elementum uh, actually multiple you can actually get the flipper now right the flipper as well as the button going on on the Elementum on the smaller size and there's even a one cliff blade for the Elementum too so the Elementum is just can't go wrong with type of choice especially if you're getting started in your EDC journey you're looking for a good value for the money you're gonna have fun you're gonna really enjoy carrying an Elementum uh, on my early days it made a really good uh, EDC knife nowadays it makes a really good secondary knife for me so I always will have uh, a really special place in my heart for the Elementum hence why I'm recommending it and it comes in at number eight let's move on <laughs> again with this list so we can keep making progress coming in at number seven we have the Sen cut saxi and honestly this knife and the next knife could be interchangeable the saxi from Senka is a button lock knife that has a lot of different deployment options you can also flip deploy it thumb deploy it reverse reverse deploy it i mean really a lot going on super super fidgety black micarta scales and you have a 9 cr 18 mov so i really would have preferred maybe a 14 c 28 n here but you know you do are talking about you know budget knife here from Senka, and this one again really really reliable very very solid really had a blast edc in this knife the quality here is really good uh keep in mind senka is the budget subsidiary of civivi and then we have we knives which is a more expensive uh version of their knives so in coming in at number six we have the senka crawley same thing can be said about the crawley it really comes down to your preference again keep in mind that these are knives that i got a chance to personally check out this year there are other knives that i'll be mentioning towards the end which are honorable mentions these are knives that are really really good but i didn't get a chance to get my hands on this year so these are knives that i certainly for a fact carry myself i own pretty much all of these for the most part and i can definitely testify for them and how good they are how great they carry so same principle going on with the crawley uh, except this one is a d2 blade stone wash d2 blade versus the satin finish on the uh taxi and then as far as deployment you have the same flipper deployment you have the button deployment as well you could thumb deploy it and you could reverse flick it as well right so very very solid knives i've highlighted these knives on the channel before as some of the most fidgety knives that you can buy that you can purchase very good price tons of value for the money and they're not going to break the bank at all all right coming in at number five we have the kershaw iridium the iridium really was a knife that came out earlier this year in january and i've really been looking forward to it ever since i was able to pick one up for myself i really had a ton had a Tons of fun, really a blast carrying it because it has the aluminum scales, right? Kind of makes it feel higher in for the price. And it has a very, very piercing and really good looking, gorgeous sand finish uh, drop point blade as well. Also with the crossbar lock, which Karshaw calls the Duro lock, they, that, that version of their crossbar lock was really, really good. And, you know, it was a little bit of a, a different experience with the Kershaw Heist, another Kershaw with the crossbar lock that I experienced in the channel. I also have a review on both of those, of course, if you want to go back and see. The one I would definitely recommend, hands down, with my eyes closed all day, every day, is the Iridium. The action on that knife is smooth, effortless, it really opens and closes really, really well. And, you know, as any crossbar lock, it, it does have uh, Omega Springs. Now, I've had mine personally, hasn't really giving me any issues at all as a matter of fact the next knife is also a crossbar lock too so you know everyone always complaining about omega springs and you know they break and they this and they that you know <laughs> i i really can't relate because my omega springs have done really well on the knives that i have uh tested out and the iridium is definitely a good solid choice there that i really really enjoyed so uh i really can't say enough things about the iridium uh it does come in a d2 steel you know if it was anything better than d2 like a 14 c28n or like a nitro v 
would have been much more appreciated. Well, it is Kershaw, so you have to keep in mind that they do cater to that budget. End of things, again, also overall great value for the money. Check out the review on that one if you want to learn more. Coming in at number four, speaking of crossbar locks, we have the Vasteed Raccoon. This is one that was sent in to me by Vasteed themselves after I purchased another knife. Uh, you know, the timing wore kind of crazy because I bought the Vasteed RS Chaos, and this is one that I purchased for my birthday. There's an unboxing and review video on this knife uh, coming up, and I was really impressed with this knife and this is going to be featured in a different list of best knives that I enjoyed this year over $100 and it's in interesting that around that same time Vosti reached out and said hey we're going to send you the raccoon and you know we want you to check it out and share of course with your audience what you think about it now here's what I will say you know obviously I was very excited for the opportunity I said sure send it right over and I've been ADC in this thing and I've been really really impressed now before that everyone and I mean literally everyone everyone on the YouTube space here, both in the comments and other YouTubers, everyone has been recommending the raccoon for a long, long time. They call it the <laughs> Benchmade bug out killer. And honestly, there's so much value in this knife here for the money. It's insane. It is insane. So you have different versions to the raccoon are available. Again, we have the crossbar lock here. You could also get a button lock version if you wanted. I like the fact that it comes in 14 C 28 N. This one has a satin finish drop point blade with uh, really good access to uh, a sharpening choil here plunge grind is way back here so lots of sharpening you know good sharpening life out of it this one has the micarta scales which makes it very very light pocket clip is reversible on both sides ergonomically boom this thing is amazing and yeah it goes to work it's very sharp they come very sharp and this one has retained a really good edge so check it out again those links and all the links for all the knives in this video are down there in the description if you want to learn more moving on because <laughs> we're not trying to make this video extra crazy long moving on to number three and guys now I'm really narrowing it down to some of the knives that I could really move them around and put the first one in second place second and first third and second and you can really move them around and, and they're still all great solid knives so keep in mind also that this whole list has been my opinion so if you disagree with me that is fine we can disagree and still be friends so it doesn't mean that my list is the end all be all right this is just you know my personal opinion but you know you can have your own as a matter of fact go ahead and let me know in the comments what is your top 10 knives under hundred dollars that you would have picked or maybe you have picked for yourself during this year and coming in at number three without further ado i would have to say without a doubt it would have to be the pyrite and i say the pyrite because you could have it in any blade configuration you want the original pyrite came out last year i believe closer to around this time so crazy to think that this knife is about a year old now and a uh, button lock from cjrb with the drop point blade this thing ergonomically is a dream still is got a forward choke option finger choil going on here i mean as, as an edc knife this thing is insane insane so when i started seeing reviews on this knife i immediately picked myself up one of these and i was just so happy and satisfied this thing lived in my pocket for weeks and weeks at a time the only thing i wouldn't do of course is go to sleep with it in my pocket but every other time you know you bet this thing was in my pocket so later on this year they dropped the warncliffe version of the pyrite they call it the pyrite alt and of course you know me uh i love me some warncliffe blades sheep's foot blade i'm a sucker for those so same great handle as you can see uh, ergonomics are great all right forward choke option still there but you have more functionality a little bit more utility out of this blade for those draw cuts right your tip is lower down from the pivot this one interestingly they remove the thumb studs and so you got a blade pill shape opening going on there and man you can do the reverse flick with this thing like crazy thumb deployment is awesome and yeah with the button it's really good these have been highlighted in the channel before are some of the most fidget friendly knives that you could possibly purchase and it comes really good price around 45 to 50 dollars they're actually on sale right now so check them out the great thing about these is that they now come in all sizes you can get these in mini versions you can get these in extra large versions as a matter of fact i believe only the drop point pyrite is available as an extra large i'm not sure about the one cliff option one but anyways i'll link all these sizes down below so you guys can check them out for yourself awesome knife i really can't rave enough about the pyrite one of my all-time favorite knives of all time super edc friendly great value with the ar rpm 9 
powder steel, which is a very consistent powder form steel from CJRB, rock solid. These are super sharp. Awesome, awesome knife all around. Can't really recommend them enough, but we do have to move on. Uh, coming in at number two, and again, I mentioned the last three. They could really be anywhere because they're that great. This is a knife that I believe didn't really get as much love as it deserved. Now, this one, in my opinion, is a little bit underrated, right? This is a gem that is underrated. This one comes in around 80-ish dollars or so. Might be on sale right now. It's the time you're watching this video. And we're talking about the CVV. And we're talking about the Civivi Sentinel Strike. Got a chance to pick one up from my fellow YouTuber, Tim School of Fish. And I actually got it from him. This is a knife that came out with another knife in this list around the same time this year. And immediately as soon as I saw it, I told myself I'm going to end up picking up this knife at some point. And man, oh man, am, am I so glad that I did. This is, you know, the Civivi budget version of the... I believe we nice Cepheus and that's already a crazy beastly looking knife I if you don't know this already I'm a huge fan of one cliff blades and I love 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 the one cliff on this one uh, aluminum handles it got a lot of uh, criticism for the FRN like integral looking piece back here which I love by the way kind of gives a good contrast between the aluminum and the handle itself ergonomically speaking this thing is awesome wonderful you're talking about a large knife full size knife and again huge finger choil here for forward choking right there you get good control of the blade this tip right here very very pokey tip for those utility cuts man this thing goes to town and honestly it's a very fidgety knife you got flipper deployment button deployment thumb deployment reverse flick you then have an opening here you could even flip this thing open with your with your pinky right how's that for deployment options so honestly you could do so much with this knife uh, i love 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 this knife and i'm surprised it didn't really get all that much love this year i can't recommend it enough super high quality blade is really centered you even have a glass breaking tip at the bottom here which is not anything crazy you, you almost forget that it's there the pocket clip is executed super comfortably you even forget that you even have a pocket clip in the first place honestly the maybe drawback that i had for this one and you can check out the review to learn more was the k110 steel which is another company's version of d2 you know if they had done this in nitro v or 14 C28N for the price I would have been even happier but for what it brings to the table I was super impressed I'm so glad that I own one and I can't recommend it enough so with that being said that was number two coming in at number one you probably uh, if, you, if you've been seeing the knives that have been coming out this year you probably have a clue as to what knife this is you probably got a cue from the thumbnail but without further ado coming in at number one is the Civivi Vision FG. Man, oh man, what a value. What a value for the money right here. This one comes in around 75-ish dollars or so. It might be a special right now. It is the budget version of the We Nice Vision R. The Vision R is a full-blown premium next design, and we'll get more into that. Titanium handles, you know, premium steel for the blade and everything. What they did here is they brought the same knife pretty much to the budget category making it more affordable for the masses and arguably this is what some people that have experienced both have said about it arguably a better version of the knife overall perhaps even arguably better than the premium we nice version but what you have going on here is this is a next design and you have the super lock which works right here in the back of the blade this thing is a fidget monster the super lock is super strong right <laughs> super super right extra super very strong to say the least i modded mine so that the actual you know bar here comes out which you can do to check out the videos in this channel review and everything if you want to learn more but man oh man uh, they did it right got nitro v steel going on here this wonderful sheep's foot looking blade reverse tanto if you want to call it that uh thumb deployment you could reverse flick this thing satin finish on the blade i got mine on the jade g10 there are other options you could get the blade coated if you wanted to you can get other like dark handle materials too there's even a ultim which is now super popular that ultim handle and everything <laughs> you can pick that one up too if you want it as well and yeah that version is sick really really sick you got the speed holes going on all throughout maybe my only drawback if anything was the pocket clip and where it was placed and the duck bill but honestly everything else overcomes that 100 you can even forward choke on it very carefully right you can just get to town right very functional blade you can still do a little pinch and grip here if you want to get some utility draw cuts going on 
the quality here is really good, executed very well. Nice and aligned, super sharp, reversible pocket clip. Bam, that is the Civivi Vision FG coming in at number one. And honestly, these are all solid, you guys. Really are all solid, nice. I'm gonna try to fit them all in the screen if I can. All right, let's do a quick recap. You guys let me know which one is your overall pick coming in at number 10 was the Rap Model 1 or 2. Number 9 was the Rike P801. At number 8 was the Civivi Elementum, regardless of what configuration you get it in. Then number 7 was the Saxi from Senkai. The Crawley was at number 6. The Iridium <laughs> was at number 5. And I don't have the Iridium with me right now as we speak. That's why we have that right there <laughs> coming in at number four we have the raccoon from vostine number four you have the pyrite regardless of what blade shape you get or what size solid knife all around number two we have the Civivi sentinel strike and coming in at number one the one that takes the cake is the Civivi Vision FG. All right, check that out. These are highly recommendable knives here for, again, that under $100 mark. You guys let me know your overall picks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Also, I have some honorable mentions. These knives that you see here on the screen are awesome, awesome EDC knives from what I've gathered, being in the community, being really involved this past year. So check out more content on these knives. There's a possibility, depending on when in the future you see this video, I may have some content on these knives too, but I didn't get a chance to actually have them in hand to test them out personally during this year, but they are highly recommendable as well. So they're honorable mention mentions. I'll put them on the screen for you to check them out as well. Guys, it's been a pleasure putting this list for you. Really hope that you pick yourself some bangers out there. You really start the new year strong with some solid EDC knives. If you don't already own some of these, maybe you're looking for the next knife to purchase. Perhaps you're looking for your next option, uh, a knife, etc. Your next best EDC all around. But here you go, under $100. These are rock solid options and I can't recommend them enough. Remember, for all of these knives that you saw in this video, if you want to check them out and pick up one of these, those links do help out the channel at no extra cost to you if you made it this far guys and you haven't smashed the like button this will be a great time to do so i make knife content like this on a daily basis so a subscribe is gonna go a long way making sure you don't miss anything going forward and if you want to support the channel a step further check out the patreon link down below where you can support the channel for as little as one dollar a month guys it's been a pleasure thank you for hanging out with me until the very end i love you all and i'll see you on the next one peace